Hi, David Bain here. Now, today I'd like to start a series of four videos for you on discussing the 26-week Internet Marketing Plan Framework, something that I believe to be an essential initial stage that every business needs to review prior to starting a really successful online marketing campaign. Okay, so let's zoom out and have a real good look at this framework. Wow, what a lot of information. Now, do you see how much detail is covered here? Now, a lot of people are put off by that. They think, oh my goodness, do I really, really have to actually do everything there? Well, no, of course you don't. However, you don't have to be successful as other people. I'm afraid online marketing isn't that simple in terms of easy fixes. However, it's great value for money and it's extremely effective if done right. And that's what you can do if you follow the framework. So I'd highly, highly recommend that you spend a bit of time just analysing the framework, discovering what it entails and incorporating it into your own online business plan. So let's start off with phase one. Zoom out a little bit there. And we'll go to something called website structure. Okay, so this video is going to focus on website structure. And initially, week one of website structure is market research and business strategy. So week one starts off with what I call competitor benchmarking. You must review your competitors' websites, analyze their products and services, measure their online popular popularity rather. There's no point in actually um, just not knowing what else is out there. You know, it's a conventional business competitor situation you're in. So analyze the pros and cons of your competitors' websites, review them as if you are the consumer, and make sure you're positive and negative in your reviews. Try to be as independent as possible, but carry out reviews of a good five to ten different competitors to get a feel for what's out there. Brand protection. Domain squatting, social network ID squatting. What that, what's that about? Well, that's about ensuring that whatever your business brand is, whatever you want to be known as online, is available as domain names, is available as social network IDs, such as Twitter IDs. If it is, protect yourself by registering them now. You might not necessarily use all your social network IDs just now, but if you've got them available, then competitors won't use them in the future. Next, business positioning. The differentiation compared with competitors. Untapped opportunities, niche markets. You need to have a think about maybe what business opportunities online gives you rather than what you're doing at the moment. Perhaps online marketing opens up completely new opportunities for your business. So taking part in a comprehensive online marketing campaign maybe gives you an opportunity to actually change and augment your overall business strategy in the future. Having a look at your business purpose. Really, what is your ultimate goal for each website visitor? Do you want them to fill out a form? Do you want them to order something? Surely there's some kind of target, some reason that you're trying to achieve from people visiting your website. Who's your target market? Design your site according to your target market. Ask your audience, you know, I'm sure you've got customers at the moment. Ask them what kind of website would they prefer? Are they after information? Are they after things to buy? Are they after making a purchase after being very well informed about something? Are they after interaction? Make sure you provide the service that your customers are looking for. Get your brand identity correct. You know, can your visitors quickly find what they want? Get your business infrastructure right. That is, what software can you integrate with your website to fully automate your business model? 
There's so much software out there now that does such a great job at such a brilliant price. And um, later on in the framework and uh, in the 26 week internet marketing blueprint, we'll certainly review great software that you can implement within your website and really, really ramp up your business model from doing that. So that's week one, market research and business strategy. Week two, now once you're reasonably comfortable with your, your overall aims in terms of, um, kind of market research and what your business is about, hopefully you should be, be able to kind of give yourself a, a reasonable overview of homepage keyword phrases, i.e. what phrases people are likely to type into search engines in order to find the kind of product or service you're looking for. You should be looking for long-term competitive keyword phrases to begin with. The kind of phrases that you imagine your competitors are going for as well as you. Now, it's not going to be easy to quickly rank for these keyword phrases, but it will assist search engines if you're actually um, SEOing, that's search engine optimizing your site for these different keyword phrases. But what you can go for fairly quickly is something called long tail keyword phrases. Long tail keyword phrases aren't competitive at all, but they are what people, people type in when they're looking for the type of product or service that you're offering. So long tail keyword phrases, category page keyword phrases, competitor keyword analysis, you know, take advantage of competitor brand searches, low competition keywords, semantic keywords, an awful lot of different types of keyword phrases out there and important how to rank the keyword phrases as well. You know, you find all that kind of information in the blueprint, but um, that's what you should be doing in week two. Week three, site structure. Now the important thing about site structure to begin with is choose a great host. Choose a website host that first of all offers the kind of software, the kind of services that you require for your visitors. Pick a website host that's actually in the physical location that the majority of your customers are, i.e. is it in the United States, the UK, whichever country it is, make sure you try to choose a host from that country. That'll help you with your local search engine optimization. Choose a host with good reliability and speed records, bandwidth. So once you've chosen your host, then you can think about your content management system. WordPress is such a great content management system and it's free of charge as well. You know, it can, WordPress can let you design a really good quality website, you know, optimised without any worries for on-site SEO as long as if you choose a decent theme. Choose a host that offers good technical support as well because you just never know what might happen in the future and you, you probably need that support. And also, just try and be comfortable a little bit with on-site search engine optimization. What title and heading tags are and how to actually structure the links within your website. You know, a lot more of this, again, can be found in the 26-week internet marketing plan blueprint, which is available from 26weekplan.com slash blueprint. Okay, so um, moving on to week four. And week four I call data capture and marketing funnel. Now this is about kind of growing your opt-in list. Now even though you're really, really successful in search engines, it doesn't necessarily mean that Google are gonna love your website forever, I'm afraid. Now because of this, it's highly recommended to actually build a big database of customers yourself while you're getting a big lot of traffic from Google and, and capture that information. So just if Google do decide to derank you, and hopefully that's not going to happen, but you just never know with a third party, then you've built your big email list. So grow your opt-in list, you know, have incentives in place in order for people to, to leave their names, leave their new email addresses. Carefully select your email marketing software. AWeber's great. MailChimp's great. There's a few other great email marketing services out there. Split test opt-in methods. In other words, what kind of percentage of people 
are entering their email address into their page in, a, in order to opt in. You'd be surprised. Some websites get 2-3% to 3 of people entering their email address in a, in, in a box. Other websites get 40-50% of people. I've got a website where roughly you know, 40% of people uh, enter their email address in in order to re receive some information. Opt-in rates are massively important and will become even more so important in the future simply because of the fact that some internet marketing methods are becoming expensive you know so if you can increase your conversion rates and have higher convert higher converting rates compared to your competitors then you'll be able to afford to pay more for your website traffic your competitors won't be able to pay the same for that traffic because they won't have the same converting rates now, when people do opt in, you can build a relationship with your lists. Integrate your existing business systems. You know, maybe you can integrate mobile marketing there as well. Conversion rates. Now, we covered that briefly there, but um, A-B split tests are another wonderful way to actually determine you know, the optimum, optimum kind of ways of actually getting people to opt in. You know, for instance, what I mean by A-B split tests is um, you can actually get some software to display two different versions of a title or a description or uh, an opt-in box. And you can use, um, for instance, Google Website Optimizer is a great multi-variable split test bit of software. And you can use that to determine the optimum possible conversion rate percentage that you can achieve. Remember to have a think about where your visitors come from. Some visitors actually are a lot more valuable than other visitors. If you use your Google Analytics can, uh, can properly, you can actually determine the value of different websites that refer you visitors. Set up goals in your Google Analytics. If you set up goals in your Google Analytics, then what that does is it lets you put a monetary value on your visitors and the actions that they take. If you measure that, then, for instance, one website might um, refer visitors to you which um, result in 10% of them converting. Another website might refer visitors to you which mean that 20% um, of them convert. Obviously, the website on which 20% of your visitors convert to your ultimate goal, it means that you can afford to pay double the amount of money for advertising on that website. So remember, use Google Analytics, get your visitor tracking going, you know, find out which sources refer the best converting visitors, and go on, go for the 26-week uh, internet marketing plan blueprint um, for more information. Okay, so that is the end of phase one. I just wanted to give you a very brief synopsis of um, website structure there, which is um, the, the first phase of the 26-week internet marketing plan. Hopefully that's given you a, a reasonable overview there of just, just where to start off with and why it's so important just to lay a solid f foundation, a solid base to your internet marketing business. Uh, if you do that, then um, what you'll be able to do is, is move on to more of an automated um, um, next phase. Um, but um, there we go. That's phase one website structure. Hope you found that um, useful.